All right, what's going on, guys? This is Maury and Pat from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Tonight we got uh, Southern Tier Plum Noir, brewed with Italian plums, clocking in at eight percent alcohol. There's a laundry list of ingredients on the side, in addition to the plums. Uh, yeah, caramel malt, barley flakes, chocolate malt, debittered black malt, and then the pureed plums, Chinook, and Willamette hops. So it's a brand new release from them, literally just came out. So we're going to get into it, let you know what we think about it. You definitely get that pruny, yeah. kind of dark plum flavor or aroma. Definitely out dark fruits for sure. Yeah, and you know, almost evident that it's a kind of a plum. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a touch of like flat cola. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm definitely detecting some cola in there. There's a little bit of a sugary character to yeah. it too. Yeah, smells kind of sweet. Not very roasty or bitter at all. It, you know. No, there, in fact, there's more of a more of a tanginess to the, to the aroma. Yeah. Almost. Kind of a slight pungency. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Kind of a more of a dark roasty coffee right off the bat than I expected. It's, it tastes a lot more roasty than it smells. Oh yeah, a lot more roasty. Yeah, that's what I got right up front is like a roasted malt character, and I wasn't expecting it at all. And I don't even know if it's if it's even that strong. It's just that I wasn't expecting from not getting any of it on the nose. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it almost even has a bit of a chocolate character behind it. Not like milk chocolate, not like a chocolate stout, but. Yeah, you can taste the roastiness, a little bit of chocolate, and then I get the dark fruits. I expected the plums to be right up front, but they're not. Mm. No, really, only you get them. You get a little bit of them in the mid taste, then kind of a little bit in the after. But yeah, yeah, they're not really that prevalent in this. And you know, maybe that's a combination of the roasted malt character and also a little bitterness from the hops helping mm -hmm. to balance the sweetness of this beer because this doesn't taste nearly as sweet as I was expecting. No, no. It's definitely more of a bitter beer, especially with any any kind of fruit beer you're thinking of. Um, but there is, yeah, definite hop component to this that I, I wasn't expecting either. Absolutely. It has a, a pretty pleasant body too. It's not overly thick, you know. Uh, it's For the style, I'd even say it's on the lighter side of medium. Yeah, but it still feels good on the palate. Mm -hmm. It's not like, it's not too light. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give this beer a 3.75 out of 5. Um, I was going back and forth between that and a 4. Um, it's definitely a good beer. Mm -hmm. No questions asked. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more complexity. I don't know what I was expecting, really. I'm not getting a ton of plums. Now maybe when this beer ages has a few months on it and the roasty and the hot bitterness kind of have a chance to calm down, maybe those plums will pop a little bit more and I'm sure I'll find out because we'll be drinking this one down the road. I do think it's a good beer and I think it's worth picking up a bottle, but I'm going to go 3.75. All right, uh, <clears throat> I was bouncing around 3.5 to 3.75 and I'm also going to give it a 3.75. Uh, this is a, a surprisingly light crisp porter, which is not a combination of words I think you hear me say very mm -hmm. often. Uh, it's pretty well balanced. There's not really any bold flavors going on in it though. Everything in it's pretty subtle. Um, that being said, it's very pleasant to drink. It's crisp. It's refreshing, which again is something you don't hear about porters too often. Mm -hmm. um, a good mix of bitterness, hot bitterness, malt bitterness, just a hint of dark fruits, and some coffee. I'll, so you go ahead and give this a try. I'd like to see what happens with some maturity on this beer. Absolutely. Until then, cheers. cheers. What are you doing? <laughs> you have yeah. two beers. You haven't stopped moving since we started doing this. Yeah, he, yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. you. Uh,